Hey, today I want to review this 11 inch uh, copper shelf square pan. I just found out that they had a 11 inch, so I had to have one course. And so I'm just going to compare it a little bit with the uh, 9 half inch. I love that 9 half inch. You can do a lot of things with it. Now we'll see what I can do with this 11 inch after I get it washed up a little bit and, and all the paperwork off of it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put uh, about four slices of bacon in here. See how it does with it. Oh, this is great. Now you can lay an entire piece of bacon in this pan. Okay, there you can see I've got four pieces of bacon in that pan and have plenty of room to spare. I think I could get about six in there if I wanted to crowd it a little bit, but I'm not going to need to eat six this morning, so I'm only going to fix four. So let's hang on and see how this works out. Do that. Just for the heck of it, I'm saying we'll put me a, a hash brown on this other uh, nine and a half inch square pan here and let it be warming up over here at the same time. As you see, that bacon's coming right along, and it's not going to be long now. And there's my hash brown. Getting that hash brown ready, and it's just spinning around. <laughs> That's going to be some good stuff in a minute. This is just about ready here. Now, in case I forgot to cover it a while ago, I hope everybody washed their hands before they started cooking. So we'll flip it one more time. Oh, yeah, it's looking nice now. Okay, that's good enough on that back in here, so I'm going to take it up. Got me a little plate here with paper towels on, we'll put on to absorb some of that grease. Now we'll just pour this grease up here. So you don't want to put it down your sink or anything like that. So you just tilt it up and pour it in your little container here. That's the nice thing about the corners. Everything just drains right out the corner. You want to make sure you wipe it off a little bit. 
get all that grease off. Don't want it coming back on the eye with it. I'm going to put it on the eye. Now you can see, well if I move the camera you can see. There's not much of anything left in there and I haven't even touched it with a rag or anything yet. But then I'm going to put me an egg in there and just cook it right there where it's at. salt and while I'm at put a little salt on my hash brown a little bit of pepper a little bit of pepper on my hash brown I'm going to break this because I want to make me a sandwich out of it. See if I can flip it over here real quick. Almost left it in there too long, as you see. <laughs> Nothing like being organized. Flip over my flip over my hash brown one more time. If I can get a hold of it. There you go. Oh, that's looking beautiful right there. I think that's about enough cooking for everything here. Turn, every, turn all the eyes off. Take my egg. Try to get it on that piece of bread. Put a little piece of cheese right on top of it. Now the good part. Last but not least, let's don't forget our hash brown here. Now I'm going to tell you one thing right now. You could put McDonald's out of business with that sandwich right there. You sure could. That's a that's a good looking sandwich, and that's what tastes good. So that's why we do it around the house. I'm glad you're watching this video, and I hope you watch more of my videos. Hope you enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Enjoy my channel. And thanks a lot again. And I'll see you later on as soon as I can get another video made. Have a good day.